Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Agrias. Let's take a look at her stats. I know that Orlando is 5 stars based, but let's compare her with Orlando because she is the poor man's version of him. Like you can see, her attack stats is not that good. Even when you compare her to Chizuru, who is also 4 stars based, Agrias only learns attack plus 20%, which is still low even for the 4 stars base attacker Orlando get 70% attack boost so yeah 50% difference in terms of health Orlando is better because higher pass health but their health boost passive is same 30% Agrias is more durable than Orlando if she equipped like shield she gets 30% defense and spirit boost while equipping like shield however this bonus may be not that useful because i think it is better to make her dual wield okay but if you don't have dual wield then the defense bonus is pretty nice another agrias drawback is she doesn't have auto refresh ability it is understandable though because she is only for stars base Agrias have tanking skill called Royal Guard. She has 30% chance to protect female ally on your party. In my opinion, this is quite good, especially because yeah, usually female character is a healer, so she will protect your key role on the battle. You don't need to worry that much about her survival ability because you get 50% damage mitigation. So she is unlikely to die unless she got attacked by one punch robot. But still, it is better to have her die instead instead of your healer. Enough okay about her stats, let's take a look on her skills. Her trademark skill is Divine Ruination. So before you are getting hype, this is a poor man's version of Orlando's Divine Ruination. The first difference is it deals a total of 3.2 damage to the enemy instead of 4 times. However, in my opinion, the most significant thing is the hit count. This version only has 5 hits instead of 7 hits. It is important especially if you want to do an elemental chain because Few more hits on elemental chain will improve your damage a lot, okay? So watch my chaining guide video if you haven't understand the importance of chaining. The debuff is same though, 50% like resist. So this skill still pretty good. If you count the debuff and have like element in your disposal, you will deal 4.8 damage on the next attack. Which is, yeah, quite good. Later, when you able to awaken this skill, it will become same as Orlando's Divine Ruination. However, even without awakening, it is still powerful skill in the 4 stars base hero lineup. Okay, so the skill has 10 frame gap, so you cannot chain it with Orlando's Divine Ruination. You can chain it easily with Ashi's Heaven's Fury or Fallen because their chaining skill also has 10 frame gaps. The next important skill is full break. I know that we can use other characters such as Rain and Warrior of Light to debuff the enemy, but having this on her means you can make your Warrior of Light doing other important things such as using Light is with us. So it is always nice to have this even when there is a better debuff out there especially on this Final Fantasy Tactic event where you don't need to bring one extra character for breaking the enemy's stats she also has two useful magic the first is Kyuraja so yeah if you need an emergency healing she can do that for you just don't make her your key healer and give her dual cast okay so the next is Protecta I know that yeah, maybe your healer or support able to buff your party's defense better than this. 
But yeah, it is always nice, nice to have this support skill to cast on certain occasion, such as when your healer needs to focus on healing. Her limit burst is also quite good. The damage is not that high, especially if you have dual wield, but the side effect is kinda nice. Stop, the chance is high too, okay? But because bosses are probably resist this one, you don't have many chance to use this on the battle because yeah, it is useless. The biggest effect from this limit burst is stop. So without it, I think you don't need to use this, okay? The rest of her skills are quite good and I believe you will use them frequently. Black Blitz is her AoE skill. It is not special or anything, but having this means you don't need to equip Odin for his Blood Blitz. Lance is good too if you run out of MP, especially because Agrias doesn't have auto refresh. Cleansing Strike is yeah useful for single strong enemy and you want to save your MP for main boss. Let's take a look at her equipment. It is pretty straightforward. You can wield any weapon because there is no restriction on your passive. So equip Apocalypse, the best free great sword on the game. This weapon synergizes well with free large sword mastery. You also can equip Holy Lance if you want to take the advantage of Divine Ruination debuff. For hardcore, of course, go for dual wield and yeah, Genji Glove. She is not supposed to be tanker even with that light shield passive bonus. You can also give her win elemental weapon such as Zwill Crossblade if you want to chain her with Fallen. So yeah, enough about her equipment. My conclusion about her is right now she is poor Landu and nowhere close to Orlando. But still, she is a good character. If you have two Agrias, then you can use them both in the battle for easy chaining. Low attack stats is her weakness now, but it will be fixed when she gets an awakening. For your info, she will get another 50% attack boost when she gets her awakening. So basically, after awakening, she will become pure Landu because her attack bonus and her divine ruination attacking power are same to Orlando. Remember, she looks kinda bad here because I compare her to Orlando. But if you compare her to other 4 stars base, she is quite strong because of her chaining and light debuff ability. Right now, she able to chain with a lot of good 4 stars base hero such as Ashi, Wrestler, and yeah, even Fallen. Later, you will be happy because she able to chain perfectly with Orlando. So my tips for now, save that power crest because you will need a lot of them later. Do this especially if you have a lot of Orlando's friend to chain with. Her trust master reward is also good. It is non-elemental large sword. Auto protect may not that useful though. However, Remember that it is not your priority because you already able to get that apocalypse from the story mode. It only has 9 attack difference. I give her 9 to 9.5 out, out of 10. Purlandu. I really hope Gami doesn't delay her awakening. Okay, so if we follow Japanese schedule then we should get her awakening on the next month, but it is impossible, I think. I just hope, yeah, I hope two months after this time, okay? So that's already good enough for me, but please, no more delay, or her nickname will become Delay Landu instead of Pure Landu. So, yep, okay, I think that's all about Agrias. I hope this helps you. So yep, thank you very much for watching, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave XPS guide. Bye bye guys.